microchips VCO has come a long way since I started it in part one and it's been a complete success with many many positive reports from people who have had these VCOs from me which I can't thank you all enough for supporting me in this it's been a very positive experience but let's have a closer look at the VCOs and a couple of future VCOs so this is the VCO that I made from the VCO that I had in part one unfortunately the VCO in part one had a fault where I'd put two of the pins in the wrong place this has been corrected in this version of the VCO and this is my final version of this model of VCO that I sell and it's been a complete success I'm very happy I'm very happy with the VCO and I think the people that have bought it off me are also very happy so it hasn't changed much from the initial concept it still uses exactly the same components but this time it hasn't got the fault with the track and yes very happy with it so here's a closer look at that VCO as you can see it's a quality double sided board with ground planes both sides plenty of via stitching and quality capacitors and um, components on the board no um, expense has been spared in making this all those capacitors are from digikey coils are obviously hand made by myself and yes very happy now in true microchips fashion as you know i don't just stop at one thing i like to carry on and we've made a surface mount version of this vco just to try to see whether we could actually do it now unfortunately i have to hand solder these because these boards are too small to go through the surface mount machines at the, ma at the board manufacturers so i've been learning how to solder 0603 components but once you get the hang of it it's quite easy let's take a closer look now this vco uses exactly the same value components it's just obviously their surface mount and this board is a lot smaller still uses the same coil still uses the same very cap diode but like i say all the parts are now surface mount a double-sided board and yeah this seems to work well and yes sold a few of these with very positive re um, reviews as you can see there it's slightly smaller but still the same pin configuration so it's a straight drop in onto your radio now a good friend of mine we were talking about a voltage feed modification for the vco and he says it'd be nice if i could incorporate it into the vco so here we have an experimental vco with the vco voltage feed modification built into it so let's take a closer look so the basis of this modification is that you remove the power feed to the vco and you replace it with a 5 volt regulator which we have here and we have a, the capacitor and we have the 10k resistor that can actually connects so we've managed to incorporate this onto the board and as you can see this vco only has four legs because we've obviously had to isolate the power and now the power is located at the bottom and you feed this from the plus nine volts off your avr regulator inside the radio as you can see just a tiny little bit smaller than the original vco so we've managed to cram quite a few components onto there now i have tested this vco and i've had some good results off it i've not yet put them up for sale but that could be in the future and here we have next in line of experimental vcos somebody said why don't you incorporate the fm audio modification like you would find in the multi mode 2 
so on this one we've got the voltage modification plus we've got space for an extra vary cap diode a couple of components and we actually feed the audio from the uh, place on the board that you'd normally feed the audio for your FM audio modification for say the multi-mode 2 and its variants so we've managed to cram that all onto a board now I've yet to test this it might be a complete failure but in true microchips fashion we don't give up and I'll make another video about this when I finally got around to making it so there's our four VCOs that we have at the moment the two top ones are obviously the ones that I've got for sale and the two bottom ones are still my experimental VCOs and we'll make some videos about those in the future once we're absolutely sure that they do what they say they do I'm not sure whether there'll be much call for them but you know like I keep saying in true microchips fashion we make things that other people don't so there's our current VCOs and our future VCOs so stay tuned for the next part in this when we try out those other versions see whether they actually work and see whether they actually improve the FM audio with the FM audio version but anyway don't forget to like subscribe if you like this type of thing turn your notifications on I do have a patreon thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode